With existing manpower strapped to the limit, there was another pool of workers ready to be tapped. Factory owners were very reluctant to hire women. They argued they'll never learn how to operate these complex machines, and if they come onto the assembly line, they'll distract the men, productivity will go way down, and besides, they shouldn't leave their homes. It'll be the end of the home and the family. But then by about 1942 or 1943, when so many men were in the armed forces, they had to turn to women. So suddenly, the whole attitude toward women coming to work changed. <laughs> Between 1940 and 1944, the number of women in war-related industries rose 460% to a high of 19 million, a full third of the entire civilian workforce. Half of those women were wives and mothers who had never held jobs before. My mother was a nice lady who baked and cooked and cleaned house and uh, whacked her kids around to make sure they stayed in line. and. Uh, Suddenly, she's running a machine at uh, an aircraft factory. She felt she needed to do something. I think there was an underlying, unexpressed kind of patriotism, not the kind that waves flags, but it was the kind that loved our lives, that loved our country, and we all worked for one reason, to get those airplanes in the sky. In Boeing, Seattle plant, half the workers were women. In just four years, they turned out over 12,000 B-17 bombers. They call it the Flying Fortress, most awesome plane. Oh, what a feeling of accomplishment. Even if you only did a, the riveting and on part of it, it was, they couldn't have done it without you. I became an ABS welder, top of the line. I wore a leather suit. I had a helmet with glasses through it. I pulled this down. I could see through the glass in the helmet. I had a acetylene torch to join pieces of steel together. I was determined that I was going to build ships to show Japan that we would hit back. Thanks in large part to these women workers, American factories turned out 4,000 tanks and 4,500 planes every month. And ships, which used to take one year to assemble, were now being completed in 17 days. Production expectations were not only being met, they were being surpassed. 